So in our previous lesson, we learned that the atom is comprised of three particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. So we can see here that we have our bucket of subatomic particles. And what we're going to do is we are going to take our proton and we're going to put it in the center of the atom, known as the nucleus. Now we can see that we now have an atom of hydrogen. Hydrogen is the first element on the periodic table because it has one proton. Remember, protons determine the identity of the atom. Next, we're going to go ahead and get our electron because remember, all the elements on the periodic table have equal numbers of protons and electrons. So if hydrogen has one proton, it must have one electron. Now notice the charge is zero, meaning it has a neutral charge. And the mass number is one. So this is the next thing we're going to learn. What determines the mass of the atom? We've actually, actually, we've already learned this. There are two particles that determine the mass of the atom, the proton and the neutron. So notice the mass number went up. So the atom's mass is in the nucleus, and it is comprised of protons and neutrons. If I continue to add protons, notice, it is now an atom of helium. Now, you also notice something else. Notice I have an ion. Ions are atoms that have different numbers of protons and electrons. This tells me that it has a positive charge, so I have to make sure that I balance it out by grabbing this electron and putting it there. Another thing to notice is notice my mass number went up. If I continue to add neutrons, my mass number will continue to increase. But notice the identity. The identity of the atom stays the same because protons change the identity. We also learned that there are these things called isotopes. Isotopes are atoms that have the same number of protons, but they have different number of neutrons. So for instance, this is hydrogen. This is a isotope of hydrogen. This is another isotope of hydrogen. Notice the difference. It has a different number of neutrons. So this is the periodic table of elements. When you first take a look at the table, it can look overwhelming. But the thing you got to realize about this table is that it's organized to be easy to understand. Let's take a look at the first element. And the first element on the periodic table is hydrogen. The periodic table is organized by the number of protons. And another way of saying protons is atomic number. So when you look at the periodic table, it's organized by atomic number. And as mentioned, it's just another way of saying protons. Hydrogen is the first element on the periodic table. So what do you think the number of protons for hydrogen is? There is actually one proton. And the thing you want to remember is that you're looking at the number on top. How many electrons do you think hydrogen has. It is also one. Okay, so let's try helium. Helium has an atomic number of two. So how much protons and electrons does helium have? It is two. Let's try 
Another example, let's try beryllium. How many protons? Four. How many electrons? Four. So that's what you got to remember. So periodic table, the periodic table is organized by the number of protons. Protons is known as the atomic number. And the periodic table goes from left to right. So we go hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, etc., etc. The next facet of the periodic table is that the rows, the horizontal rows, these are known as periods. So these are your periods on the periodic table. So we can see that there are seven periods on the periodic table. And the, the columns, the vertical columns, these are known as groups. The next thing we're going to talk about is how do you find the neutrons? So we talked about how you find protons and electrons, but we haven't talked about how do you find the neutrons that the element has. The way we do that is we take a look at the information that is presented. And underneath the name of the element, we have this decimal number here. So 6.94. This number represents the mass of the element. We learned previously that the mass of the element has to do with protons and neutrons. So what we have to do is we take a look and we see 6.9 and we have to round it. Okay. So 6.9, is that closer to 7 or is that closer to 6? It is closer to 7. So it's 0.1 away. So it's really close, right? So 6.9. The other number, let's just ignore that for now. And we're just going to look at the first decimal place. So 6.9 is closer to 7 than it is to 6. So the atomic mass for lithium is going to be 7. So if there are three protons already, how do you find the number of neutrons? So all you have to do is subtract. So you're going to get the atomic mass, 7, and we are going to subtract 3. So 7 minus 3 is going to be 4. So there are 4 neutrons in lithium. All right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at that example of lithium. So let's first build lithium. So we're going to take our protons. How many protons does lithium have? Lithium is the third element on the periodic table. So it's going to have three protons. Then let's take a look at the number of electrons. Remember, protons are equal to the number of electrons. So we have three, three protons, three electrons. Let's take a look at the mass number or atomic mass. We see that it is three. What is the number of, what is the, what is the mass of lithium supposed to be? Remember, we looked at it, 6.9. It's closer to 7. So we're going to say 7. So let's go ahead and add our neutrons. Seven. Now all we have to do is take a look at how much did we add, right? How much neutrons did we add? So we added one, two, three, four. So lithium has four neutrons. Let's try a final example. Let's take a look at carbon. What is the number of protons that carbon has? It is six. And then let's take a look at the atomic mass. It is 12. Now 12.01, 12 that's closer to 12, right? So let's build carbon. Six protons. We have carbon. Let's balance out our electrons. 
so we have a neutral charge. So we have six protons, six electrons. Now remember, what is the atomic mass for carbon? It is 12. We see that carbon has six protons and six neutrons. So you just learned how to find the protons, electrons, and neutrons on the periodic table.